YouTube, what's going on my man? So today, I wanna to be stuck at home for a little bit. I have a ton of work that I need to get done. I have to finish editing, I have to finish an assignment that has to be turned in before 12 o'clock. And I still need to reply to emails and have a business call at 2.30 today, which I'll get into later on. Pretty hectic morning, it rained last night and it's super gloomy and cloudy, so hopefully, hopefully we might be able to go thrifting later. We'll see. That's what I'm talking about, y'all, look at this. Uh, gloomy mother effing weather. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can get it all done before around like three o'clock and then I'll be able to go out and hit the thrifts. Yeet. Was Gucci Instagram people? Uh, what did Trap Camp Photo say? The last samurai with Tom Cruise. It might have been. I have no clue. I honestly have no clue. All right, deuce Instagram. Shout out to Awesome Cameras. Go check him out, y'all. Link to his YouTube channel in the bio, or not in the bio, in the link in the description below, but check him out. Awesome dude, makes really cool videos. And he just said XA. All right, so we're finally out of the house now, and it's just a little after 4.30. That took a lot longer than I expected it to be, but that's fine. Hard work pays off, finish the article, finish the emails, and finish the video call, which actually went really successful. So a lot of new projects coming up in the future, but I think for now, since I got the extra spare time and it's gloomy out, which is my favorite weather by far, you know, I think we have time to go thrifting. So I'm gonna go up north, up down south, you know, really just search the area and see what I could find. So let's get it. Yeet. That was a bust. I didn't find anything in there. There were actually no cameras. I even asked the employee there and she said, oh no, we're not carrying cameras at this time for some reason. So, it was a bust. It's all good though. I'm heading over to another thrift shop. I know and guarantee that they have cameras there. So I'm gonna check that spot out and hopefully find something nice. Alright y'all, so this spot usually is pretty fire, so let's go in there and see what we can scoop out. Hopefully we do find something up, because it's been kind of dry the past couple weeks for me. Let's see. Another one of those Seville Supers. So a lot of these cameras are damn near dummy old. None of them don't even. There's a little flash. What else we got here? What is that? Nippon 35 millimeter focus free. Nope. Another Kodak Instamatic type of deal. Mm, nothing right there. Nope, no. Ooh, Vivitar 35 C5S autofocus. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Oops. Polaroid though. $12.99. Yikes. That's going back on the shelf. What's the what's this week's color? The what? The color for this week? Um, gray. Gray. Okay. All right. So here's an OM one. The shutter speeds all fire one. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but they all fire the same. So this is it. If you guys can see that, it is in bulb right now. So it's in bulb. 
and listen. All right, so now if I pull that back up here to 1 30th of a second, sounds the same all the way up to 1 1,000th of a second. So, can I see the, the little bag right here, please? So here's a maximum 5,000, has a little red line, which is interesting. Has the usual, you know, problem with the battery grip. But here's a 51.7, pretty cool. Okay, some flashes, and then there's a Minolta STSI, which is kind of like a HTSI almost. It's like a prize, a treasure chest. Ooh, it's a, flute. it's a flute. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. was pretty dead as well so I don't know that's zero for two hopefully the last spot will show something or show some sign of hope I hope at least they raise the prices on those things man I feel like they're starting to catch up they're really starting to catch up y'all so red lobster I actually I actually don't eat seafood So we're currently in the gym right now. Had to stop thrifting just because there weren't anything out there. So I'm gonna try again tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow we'll find some better stuff. All right, good morning everyone. It's day two of the Thrift Adventure. Uh, got a couple spots that I missed yesterday and it got really dark so I couldn't film and the whole vibe of me thrifting yesterday just didn't really work out, didn't find anything. So hopefully today we have better luck. So let's go ahead and hit some of those stores now. Um, there's three in particular, I'm gonna go in order and then I'll show you guys what we can get. So with that being said, my girlfriend drove my car last night. <laughs> let's, uh, let's be on our way. Thank you. Hey, boss, could I see the um the cameras down there, please? Like video cameras? Um, no, like the film cameras and stuff like that. Just like photo stuff. How's the day going by so far? Yeah. I got breath in my lungs. <laughs> Good start. Right. Icon Decision Master. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm interested in Okay. 51.8. Nice. That has to be a printer or something, right? Yeah, that's gotta be. <laughs> I think it's a, one of those S players. Oh. Oh, it's a projector, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
think I've ever seen a Nikon with a little side grip like that. That's cool. Yeah. I think it's 50%. All right. I wish I knew what they're worth. Hmm. Definitely right. Maybe it is. They're that expensive? Shouldn't be. C1 for 99. Really? Oh, that's on like the websites and stuff. Yeah. So we'll probably do forty dollars. Half off would be twenty. So twenty dollars for this stuff. Mm. This is the best you could do, boss. You go just like a tad bit lower. I can do 30, I think. I'm the manager, so I can just about do anything. Sure. You know I see I mean? that. <laughs> <laughs> so 15? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. So just around this corner? Yeah. Look. In fact, I can go over there. All right, cool. Okay. <clears throat> and there you have it, folks. Find number one, 15 bucks, Nikon FG, with a 51.8 and some type of zoom lens, so. Yeah, pretty dope. We're going to hit some other spots and hopefully, you know, find some other things. One in the bag, 15 bucks. Let's get it. All right, so that spot was a complete bust. You know, I didn't expect much from it anyway, so we're probably going to hit one more spot and then wrap it up. So the funny thing about thrifting is that it's really hit or miss. Uh, a lot of times you'll have the greatest luck and you'll find like 50 things in one day. And the other times, like, <clears throat> like the last two days, you'll find one thing in like two days. So I mean, it's all about really looking and having patience and just making sure that you're not giving up on it because like you seen there, that Nikon FG, oh shit. So what I was saying was like you seen there, the Nikon FG, they found out, um, you know, he looked online and he saw it going for like a hundred dollars. So he brought it down to a thrift store price, you know, ranging from like 40 bucks, but it was half off that day. So it was originally 20. I negotiated with him and I talked it out and he did $30 half off 15. So, you know, really look for those spots that are not so corporate like Goodwill and you'll find good luck. All right, you guys, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a quick recap of what I got. Like I said before, sometimes it's hit or miss with these thrift stores. Sometimes you find some, sometimes you won't, and that's perfectly fine, but as long as you're consistent with your searches, you should be finding good stuff. So I only picked up one thing out of the two days that I've been thrifting, and it's this little bag right here. So inside of the bag in the front, what we have is we have a bunch of little instruction manuals. Uh, this is a, wow, it has the original JCPenney receipt for the person who bought the flash. That's pretty interesting, okay. Uh, it also has a full five year warranty from JCPenney. What is this here? This is a camp close up equipment. So it's, it's, a, it's a list of different equipment and stuff that you can get back in the day. So this is really vintage from Nikon actually. So you know, maybe in another video we'll go over that. <clears throat> We have the Nikon FG instruction manual, the OG, and I wonder what it looks like. It's very interesting. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. That's pretty cool. So it has a little image of how to take some pictures and different stuff like that. So the Nikon FG instruction manual. It's always fun reading this stuff. It has the original Nikon Series E 50mm 1.8 manual as well. That's insane. <laughs> um, here's a JCPenney card camera lens I'm pretty sure this is for that uh, that longer lens that we have in here here's a full three-year replacement warranty helpful hints for your lens how to mount it correctly and this is a filter card don't know what the hell that is all right so that's the front pocket now inside of the main compartment what we have here is I gotta hurry up I'm on two percent <clears throat> we have a receipt it came with this macro lens 
Uh, this is a 80 to 200 3.9. Not too bad at all. This thing right here can, you know, I can either sell it or I can actually use it for some macro stuff. So definitely gonna give this shot a try and just look at the front element, that's beautiful. Uh, it also came with a lens cap, so I might as well just cover that up here. It came with a dedicated JCPenney flash. So apparently back then JCPenney and Sears sold cameras. This is a Hoya filter. This is the uh, 52, 52 uh, millimeter threaded Hoya filter. I don't know what's in here. Oh, it's actually, it's a lens hood. That's dope, I'm gonna use that. And last but not least, the main shell. Oh, sorry, here's another filter. I don't, I don't know what the hell this is. This is the Nikon FG. So like I said before, I picked this thing up for a total of 15 bucks with the bag included. Uh, this is the 50 millimeter 1.8 at the very front. The 1.8, the 50, just the lens itself is worth 15. So in my opinion, I got a great camera for a good price. Uh, you know, it took a little bit of talking. Functional shutter opens up. Uh, it's on M90 right now because there's no functioning battery, but it also came with this cool strap. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's gonna wrap it up for the thrift finds for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll sure to make some more. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I gotta go. I'm rushing. And thank you guys for watching King Japes. Till next time. Bye.